everybody, it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I wanted to share with you guys a pennant that I made. This is for Tina Kappa. She's celebrating having over 500 subscribers and she asked folks to make a pennant of a specific dimension and kind of in a shabby chic style. Although at some point, I think she said your style would be fine too. She specified some colors that she likes. I decided I was going to, I don't have one style, I'm kind of eclectic, I like all sorts of different styles, so I decided I was going to try and go for kind of a shabby, chic, cutesy look. Um, and I started with this paper base, which I just think is this gorgeous paper. Um, this I picked up a Tuesday morning in one of those 12 packs that I picked up, I think for like 99 cents or something, and it has beautiful glitter on it, and it's embossed, and it just has, it's just gorgeous. And then I ink the edges with Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Victorian Velvet, uh, which has a nice kind of dusty rose color. I punched two holes at the top so that Tina can hang all of the, her pennants that she gets together. Um, she wants to be, you know, surrounded by crafty YouTube love and inspiration in her craft room. Then on the front side, I colored up this urban gorgeous girl. I don't know what her name is, but I picked up the stamp when they were on sale at some point. Um, and I colored her up kind of more in light grays and pinks. I'm going to list all the Copic colors that I used on my blog post where I'm going to share this project. Um, I lined the top with a little bit of white lace, which you can see kind of peeking through here and there. Um, and then a big lace piece across the back, which was gifted to me by Rose, who's cutesy girly. Um, these big, beautiful handmade flowers were made by Terry, who's one crafty cookie here on YouTube. Thank you, Terry. They're just gorgeous. And they just, you know, make the banner. I think they're, they just pop. And this center has so many layers and it's so gorgeous. Um, I tucked in little tiny roses in corners here, here, um, here, <laughs> the little teeny tiny roses were from Song, who's Creations by Song. This bigger paper flower was from Alice, who's Kintry, here on YouTube. These vintage pieces, jewelry pieces, this one, these little baby um, bead letters to spell out Tina for Tina Kappa. This little button, which I covered up with a piece of bling. These uh, champagne colored leaves that are here, and also on the dangle that I added to the bottom. I added a pearl strand and those leaves. You can see at the top there a little bit. And then this big bauble. All of those were from Stephanie, who's too much hurt here on YouTube. And then I added these metal, this metal charm, which actually there's two of them. One says smile and the other says create. And there's a little C for Tina Kappa on one side. And there's a little flower and I put a little pearl in the center of that flower on the create side. And these were actually stickers. I mean, they're metal, but they have foam adhesive on the back. So I took one of the foam adhesive pieces off and I made this two sided because I didn't want a like a back showing depending on how the dangle hung. I added some pink seam binding, did a double ribbon bow. Um, and then I just think this is so amazing. This clay piece, which is a leaf, it's a big leaf like a flourish. And that was in a beautiful package uh, from Robin, who's TN Girl 224 here on YouTube. And I think that's it. Tina, I hope you like it. I really had fun making it for you. I'm not a big banner maker. In fact, you know, I think this is maybe my third that I've ever made, maybe my fourth. Um, I generally don't like it, but Thinking about you while I was making this made this so much fun. Um, I really, really hope that you like it. Um, and if you guys get a chance, please play along with Tina's challenge. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.